Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today I'm making a video about basic servers walkthrough. But before I start that, if you're new from YouTube or anywhere, this is a course that I teach on jobskillshare.com. So once you go to my course, register, log in, you will see help us support entry level to specialist. Once you go to the course, you go to learning path and then you will see this uh, section right here and this video is going to be under all the way down if you go to basic server walkthrough. I'm going to be putting different servers like 2012 that I'm talking about today, 2008, just basic stuff like finding things out and very small videos uh, and um, maybe some other servers too. Uh, so we're going to start with server 2012 this is how you're gonna see let's say for example you're a help desk person and uh, your company just installed 2012 and you are going to be working on some basic stuff that we touched on in the course like um, um, restarting IAS uh, portal uh, sharing files creating a map creating map for users uh, adding active directory users and all that stuff how do you get into it? so we have videos for specifically active directory stuff and all that but we this is going to be just uh, basic stuff for like you're new to this and you just want to look into it before you get in you just want to look into this server how does it look so it looks like this the first screen when you uh, when you get to uh, when you uh, restart maybe it, sh it should be like this uh, you'll see a big server manager screen and there will be roles and there will be many many other things right here you could click on all servers you'll say right here let me go to another server it might have a different see this server have a hyper V install let me just go to different one and let's see what it has so I'm just gonna click on that one right here it has nothing else so um, DC maybe this one has more it has this is a domain controller so domain control might have all the service rules and stuff on the left side DHCP DNS file and storage services on the left side right here but if you want to go to um, Active Directory stuff or other components like uh, you, uh, that kind of stuff, you can just click on Tool right here and then you could do uh, Active Directory users and computers. What's going to happen? You're going to see the same um, uh, window just like you were used to in 2008 and 2003 uh, working with the users, right click on passwords and all that kind of stuff. And we do have a video exactly for Active Directory too uh, in, um, in this course, so you guys can take that. Um, so that's a tool area. A manage manage areas right here. You could do uh, add a role, which is mostly server administrators and all of them do that stuff. You could add another server here. Um, also, you could do watch all the servers from here too. If you go to local server, you'll see a local server here. All the setup here. You can change some stuff from here. Make sure everything is working. So this is mostly uh, your uh, server administrator job to do this kind of stuff. But uh, to go to the um, uh, if you right click on this little window we, there's you can see there's no search thing in here anymore but I'm gonna show you guys where to get the search but if you right click on it you see all these um, uh, uh, folder right here so search is right here if you click on search you could do a little search here so if I say notepad not and then see notepad just came up uh, this is the same thing like you know we had to we use but it's like a one step more and say everything do you want everything or do you want settings do you want everything in files kind of drop down you can do things with that so, so if you right click again what we what else we have here uh, we got a file explorer control panel from here task manager command prompt disk management um, the reason what 2012 service like you know they want you to be to stay in this little area right here because dashboard can have almost everything that you need to work on a server and see like it, it could show you almost everything in here from this end and and even you don't want to get out of this area so you can just right click and get to the main features like programs and features power settings event viewers system everything is in here let's say if you right click on the taskbar the same way we had in different operating systems you got another uh, tab right here, PowerShell um, it's something different we're not going to be touching that in this one so other things right here is if you click right here um, if you minimize this and come all the way down here you see as soon as you put your mouse right here you see all this settings right here so you could click on start you got another search area right here you can click on settings here 
and it will take you to the computer settings control panel personalization and you can do all other stuff from here too if you click on the if you just hit the windows key or if you click right here it's going to take you to the desktop and from here you can also get to the administration tools and some of the things that we just touched um, here every time you add a role or uh, sorry a feature it will show up right here so if you go to your tools and then you add something in there uh, when you come back you will see it right here uh, other things in the in windows 8 uh, windows, sorry 2012 is that the file thing is you can just click on the file explorer right here and then it will take you to all your uh, disk management system kind of the same once you get into the the um, the feature like you know anything like you know, it looks exactly the same as uh, Windows 2008 a little bit different some stuff it's just the main main screen is changed right now so that will people are confused you just have to remember this two things right here you come here right click on it and you get to most of the things from here uh, or you can come here and just leave your mouse right here on the right side and you will see that little bar right here so you can click on star settings and all that if you click on start you get to the same point again if you right click if you click right here you'll see apps all the apps right here uh, on the right side uh, now you can get to everything all apps by name you can search them here uh, almost everything is in there so if you're going to be using this area and you can see the DHCP DNS everything is also you can access it from here local policy the best thing you can do is just to search for it so if I tell local say local security policy if I say something DNS it's like give me DNS it's pretty easy to do it from the search too so Internet Explorer same way you can change this by menu bar and then look at the what version is installed and all that um, so if you click here about Internet Explorer let's see it's 11 and this is how you can do it kind of the same thing once you get into the like I say once you get into application it's the same thing then um, other things are other things are if you run right this is your run which is a, a lot of time you would be going to a different PC or server so for example if I try to go to server 2 let me see if there's anything share in there probably not maybe so this is another server that I have there's nothing shared I guess so or I can just use the same um, one right here so if I right click on it and I'll say DC let's see what's shared on this server this everybody should know this by now that this is how you get to the share drives from if somebody if let's say if you go to an interview and somebody tell you uh, there's a server DC is the name of the server I share this folder what is the quickest way to get to that share um, you, you, or what can you find out what share what folder that I share that's the easiest way to do it so you slash slash DC and then you click on that and then just see what's shared in that server I'm like okay yeah you shared react OS this is this this all that is shared right there uh, one of the other things um, this is actually out of this video thing one of the things these days people would ask you if you tell I worked on mapping a drive and all that somebody will stop you and tell you can you tell me the steps of mapping a drive so um, you should really know this like you know one way is to go through this way that I went slash slash and right click on it and see right here map network drive other way is to go to your explorer and once you go to your explorer you can just either click on C drive and then you click on manage nope sorry sorry not manage not manage computer you click on the computer and then you can do stuff from here too it doesn't matter if you go to C drive or not but most of the time you would go to a drive then you go to let's say for example here drive and then you see the map map drive in there so click on manage you see home all that stuff from here so if, let's say if I go in there and I share a folder in there because one of the student asked me is that I went to an uh, interview and then somebody told me that um, how, when I told them that I mapped these drives for for school systems and all that and then they stopped him in the middle and told him how to do a map drive and you guys should know this um, how to do map drive multiple ways so when you guys do little your um, when you guys do your little like you know um, interview whatever uh, you guys can really like you know look into this stuff so if I do this 
install okay I didn't do the GD so for example you can say I go to properties first I need to make sure uh, it's shared right there and I go here advanced sharing I'm going to share permissions one way was to do it from on the top of the screen when you go to your other way is this way you go to run you share and you see the GG should come up right now and now if I right click on it I can map this drive so that was just uh, not related to this video but <laughs> just something to tell you guys alright I'm gonna be making a different server with a different uh, walkthrough video and uh, maybe you guys uh, will learn something from it because I know a lot of a lot of companies will be moving to a newer system so it's a good video to just watch around um, and then use it on your real system all right take care bye bye